Shalom, Kahala Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bahashim Rakah Kodash, double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth. Peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth, patiently waiting for the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai to redeem us from the land of our captivity here in America, known in the scriptures as Babylon and Great, and likewise from around the rest of the world. Where Israel has been scattered as a whole, shalom to all you brothers and sisters, wazakwayim, who are out there uh, patiently waiting, our in sincerity and in truth for our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai to scoop us up out of here uh, from uh, America's uh, destruction, which will be by ICBM missiles shot by the enemies and its allies. Brother, I'm Awan from the Great Muslim Branch of Los Angeles, and I'm going to just get right into it. You know, the, the flavor of the week. You know, these guys here, uh, Karaf Israel, videos entitled God Loves Everybody. These guys, man, Yahweh Bashimi Awashah is not dealing with these dudes, man. You know, I, I, I was skimming through this and listening to how they're interpreting these scriptures. And every scripture, basically, that come across mercy unto all, mercy unto Israel, well, whether, when it says all, they try to spin it to refer to all nations when they don't even understand what they're saying. They don't understand the scriptures that they're bringing out. You know, they don't understand. They don't understand what they say. And I'm mean, let me read this scripture real quick. Because uh, let me see. Because I thought of this scripture. What? They say, I believe I was, I was actually reading this last night. Yeah. First Timothy's one and seven. That's the spirit. I was actually reading this last night. And when I saw, listen to this video, this is the first, first scripture I thought of. This is first Timothy's, uh, one and three. As I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, uh, Paul is speaking unto Timothy. When I went into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some of them that they teach no other doctrine. The word doctrine means teachings. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogy, which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith. So do and that, and that's what um, um, what serves these guys. Questions. You get you begin to question these guys' character, their doctrine, what they're about, because they're teaching fables. Now, what is a fable? Let's look up this word fable. It says from the Greek G3454, a speech, word, saying, a narrative story, a true narrative, a fiction, a fable. Here's the point. An invention, a falsehood. So these guys are inventing fables, saying that Esau can be saved. And there's many other guys, you know, that are, are, are bringing in falsehood. It's okay to have sex on the Sabbath, you know. Just, you don't have to call on the true names. You don't have to reverence the, your, your elders are above you, you know. Just a lot of fables are being taught. Verse 5, now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and, a, and of a good conscience and of faith unfeigned without hypocrisy. From which some, having swerved, have turned aside unto vain jaggling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor, nor whereof they affirm. Now, I'm going to play a part here, which this guy is reading Sirach, the 18th chapter, and they don't break that scripture down fully. You know, they don't, they don't understand who the most high flock is, right? The scriptures say the flock of my pasture are men. Israel is the most high's uh, sheep. Or he, that's the most high's pasture. He, the Lord said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Listen to this crap. To the sea and a gravel Let me see if I could back it up. I don't want to lose this now. Let's just In comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Therefore, it's Yahweh by Simeon, I was patient with them. Wow. And pour forth his mercy upon them because he cares about drops. Yeah. <laughs> right. He saw and perceived their end to be evil, therefore he multiplied his compassion. The mercy of man is toward his neighbor, but the mercy of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh, shines upon all flesh. He reproveth and nurtureth. 
and teach him and bring him again as a shepherd his flock. That's Israel. That's Israel. You know, that's the only one that Yahweh Shai um, came for, that who nourisheth and cherisheth and 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 bringeth and 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 uh and giveth him um give Israel the law too. That's Israel, man. Let's get that. What's that? Matthew 10 and 6. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the flock of the Most High. His sheep. Not all nations, man. Matthew 10 and 5. These 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, why would Yahweh Shai say this to his disciples? Like, yo, don't go and teach where the other nations is at. Right? But don't don't go over there. Because back in Israel, when you look at our history, you had heathens, all right, multi uh you had multitudes of nations dwelling in, in whole cities where Israel wasn't even at. All right. And that's why Yahweh Shah said, don't go over there, because that's where majority of the heathens is at. Okay? This uh you gonna find nothing but heathens over there, man. Don't go over there, but go. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, where Israel is predominantly scattered. We're scattered everywhere, right? But when you go particularly in the, in, in the history of Israel, when we uh, left out of the land, the Lord brought heathens into that land, man. Okay? And Yahweh Shai understood that. That's why he told his disciples, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know? And as you go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This... The kingdom is only prepared for the nation of Israel, man. Plain, hands down. And I forgot to say in the beginning of my lesson, because I'm a little bit uh, fired up a little bit. Esau cried for mercy and received none. These guys are trying to give Esau mercy and the other nations mercy. He 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 was referring to the drop. Going back to when uh, Esau begged for mercy and he sought it carefully with tears and the Most High didn't give him mercy. But now these guys talking about God loves everybody. You know, the Most High don't love everybody. Okay? The scriptures say he created the wicked for the day of evil. So how can the Most High love everybody when he created the wicked for the day of evil? Yeah, the Most High love all his works. That's facts. Facts. But he created the good and he created the evil. The Most High is the controller of both sides, but... He put one above the other, and that's the nation of Israel above all nations. This is uh, Hebrews 12, and um, Hebrews 12 and 14, and it says, Follow peace with all men, and holiness with, without which no man shall see the Lord, looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of the Most High, lest any root of bitterness spring up trouble you, and there be, and, and there by many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one mor morsel of meat sold his birthright. For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he saw it carefully with tears. What are you guys reading? When you go and read the definition of uh, Esau, I believe in the uh, Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary, it plainly tells you that Esau is the only neighbor of the Israelites that received no promise, no mercy. Okay? The only neighbor of the Israelites that received no mercy. Let's get this word rejected. It comes from the Greek G593. To disapprove of, reject, uh, re repudiate. However that word is pronounced. Repudiate, repuddle, however it's pronounced. But to disapprove, reject. The Most High rejected Esau. Okay? So how? where is it so Oh, God love everybody? But where was the love when Esau was crying for his birthright back? If the Most High loved everybody so much, why didn't he just give Esau his uh, birthright, man? You know? Why did the Most High let it happen to where Esau, uh, Jacob tricked Esau for the blessing? Because it was set up that way. These things were prophesied to happen, man. The Most High, let me get this scripture real quick, Com uh, bless um, Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. Let's get that. Hebrews um, Hebrews 11 and um, 
It's so lucky I'm at 13. This is Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11 and 20. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. What, what did Isaac give Esau? He gave him the fatness of the earth. He said, hey, yo, by your sword, you was going to live. All right? You was going to have the fatness of the earth, but you were going to get these things by bloodshed. Because that's your context of your character. Okay? But Jacob will follow right after you because you're going to take these things first because you are the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Right? Scriptures say the day of doom shall be the end of this place. Esau will be ruling at the end. Ain't going to be no a few Edomites that's going to make it on a chariot, man. They're going to make it in a kingdom, but they're going to be servants in our kingdom. Like we were servants in their world. We serve hardcore bondage, right? But they're going to serve hardcore bondage in our kingdom. You know? I'm going to get to the point. This is Romans 9 and uh, 13. Let me start. Let's start at 10. Romans 9 and 10. Get to the point. Mm, man. It's, it's, man, it's so, it's so much, like, I don't really want to start at one. Let me start at one. Romans 9 and 1, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. This is Paul speaking. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Right, he's saying he wish he could have got up on that cross. Who are Israelites. To whom pertaineth the adoption. What is the adoption? The reconciling of, of, of bringing back the nation of Israel. What Yahweh Shai shed in his blood on the cross. Not for no other nation. Israel broke that first covenant. Moses said, hey, yo, you, I'm a, uh, the Lord going to raise up another leader like unto me. Unto him you're going to listen. Why? Because ultimately down the line you are going to need grace. Because Israel is going to discontinue from the first covenant, man. In the giving of the law, in the service of the Most High, in the promises, who are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Christ, Yahweh Hamashiach, the anointed king, who is over all, the Most High blessed forever. Amen. You can close the book right there. Concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came, who are Israelites, who was given the law, who, 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 who pertaineth the adoption. All right. That's Israel. Who's Paul's talking about? Not all nations, bro. Go read Revelations, the seventh chapter. You ain't going to find the children of Esau, 1,000 out of 12,000 out of the tribe of Esau, 12,000 out of the tribe of Japheth, 12,000 out of the tribe of Moab. You're not going to find it, man. I don't care how, uh, how much emotion you put in your voice when you yell. What is your arguing? Reprove, not a damn thing. Truth is, is what's going to stick. Lies is going to be abolished, man. Verse 6, not as though the word of Most High have taken an effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Right. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they to all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Right, because Abraham, right, was a chosen line. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Abraham had many children. He had Ishmael. Um, he had um, yeah, Ishmael and other children too. They were heathens. But in Isaac's side I see be called, verse 8, that is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the Most High, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Right? It says, and not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, what the Most High have chosen, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. See, this is what the Most High say. They, they wasn't even born yet, and the Most High chose who he was going to choose. You can't say to the Most High, like, no, hey, how about you messed up? Why can't Esau make it? What Can a, can a clay um, boast itself against the potter? You know, you, you can't speak against the Creator, man. The Most High hated Esau. That's who he hates. And we see, we understand why he hates Esau. Look at it. Look at his track record, man. 
Verse 12, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Let's look up this word hate, because you niggas don't know the difference between love and hate. Is that the lie? <laughs> From the Greek G25, it's for love of a person to welcome, to entertain, to be found of, to love dearly, of things to be well pleased, to be contented at or with a thing. The Most High is content with us to be, we, He's the Most High is pleased for us to be His people, the elect at that, but not the other nations. Okay? All nations, when you really boil down to it, we all, we're all sons and daughters of the Most High. When you really put it in that picture, because we all come from the Creator, right? But He has a chosen people, and that's the nation of Israel who the Most High love and care for. Give them, they like the dude was reading. He nourisheth and cherisheth as it bringeth back together his shepherd, his own flock. Just look at our history. The Lord always showed love to Jacob. And in, 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 in time of Pharaoh, man, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? God forbid. Like, that's what Paul's saying. Like, that, and that's the question you will ask yourself. Like, what shall we, is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Like, is the Most High wrong? For hating Esau and, and, and loving Jacob, is he wrong for that? Hell no, he ain't wrong for that. That's what Paul is saying. Is, there, is the Most High wrong? Is, it, is, is the Most High wrong to do this? God forbid. Verse 15, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth. But of the Most High, that show of mercy. It don't matter what the hell you do, try to say, kitchen uh, tables you set up, what you try to do to save Esau, it ain't going to work, man. Because what's written, it is what's written. You can't change the Most High on how he feels about Esau, man. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, that my name might be declared throughout the, all the earth. Therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he harden it. So you got two sons, one that have been shown mercy, and the other son that has a, that have been hardened. The children of the promise and the children of the flesh, Jacob and Esau, man. This is the whole freaking movie about, man. Jacob and Esau, man. You can't save a man that was destined for destruction, yo. He can't save himself. And he knows that scripture. He, he saw it carefully with tears. And Jake is still Jake is crying worse than Esau for the damn for uh, his mercy, man. How you crying worse than Esau for him to get mercy? I'm a, I'm gonna cry harder than he cried to for maybe the most high hear me for Esau. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> you know, he saw it carefully with tears. Are you are we reading the same thing here? We we talking about Esau himself did, not his one of his sons. No, no, we talk about the fa the the father Esau, who cried bitterly. He saw it carefully with tears, man. What do you what are you guys reading, man? So he knows it, it, he ain't, he ain't getting no mercy. Therefore, that's why he said like, man, I'm a I'm a kill this nigga, man. The days of my my mourning, my father is 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 coming. I'm a fuck Jacob up. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a come on, on him like a madman, spirit nun, and he gonna show these horns, man, cause his day of calamity is here. Malachi one and one, the burden of the, of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, impoverished. But we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. So when did this stop? When did the Lord, where's the scripture at that say, oh, I stopped my anger towards Esau, now mercy is about to be shown. Where did this stop? Because this is, man is the mystery of iniquity, okay, the son of perdition. That old serpent, the devil, all right, who set of him, who set of himself up above the uh, them that be up high, the heavenly Father, his son, the angels, 
He opposed himself above all that is called God. This is Esau Edom. So how the hell can you say this man, is, he, he got mercy is going to be shown to him? This nigga put himself up as the son of God, man. Right? Changed the way he looked. The angels, man. But Esau can be saved. And he's poisoning you every day. You Jake's out there, man. You the ones that need mercy. You the ones that's out here through. Trying to give mercy to these other. These nations don't give a shit about us. Like that Tupac song. They don't give a F about us. They don't give a fuck about us, Jake. You need mercy. They not. They. These niggas got bunkers. You know. They see the calamity happen. Where you going to go? Here it is, you on a street corner, mercy for Esau, mercy. But when it, when that day of destruction come, Esau not looking for you, Jakes. Right? He's not uh, uh, doing uh, nuclear drills um, like Russian citizens are to protect our citizens against a nuclear explosion. They telling you to mask up. <laughs> mask up, Jake. Matthew, I mean, uh, Proverbs 16 and uh, 4. I'm going to end it with this. Proverbs 16 and 4. And I'm going to come back, Lord willing, and do another lesson on this because all these weirdos popping up. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yet even for the, yet even the wicked for the day of evil. Right? So Esau has, has mounted up sins that is reaching unto heaven. And Israel is crying unto the Most High, like, Lord, get us the freak out of here. He killing us, man. But you, Jake, is like, nah, nah, man. We, we got to pray for this man. Lord, Lord is very merciful. <laughs> Shit. Esau, he, his mercy, the scriptures say, to him that knoweth to do good and do it to, then do it for not to him it is sin. You know, Esau, this motherfucker, he's breaking the law <laughs> expeditiously. And <laughs> Jake is like, well, it's still mercy for him. You, you, you still got to love thy neighbor. You still got to turn your cheek. Hey, man, you got an enemy, Jake. All right? Let me see. Let me, no matter of fact, linger if not. End it with this. You teaching things that you shouldn't be teaching. Second Peter 2 and 3. And through covenants shall they, with feigned words, hypocritical speech, Make merchandise of you. Uh, let me start at one. Second Peter is two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Swift destruction is coming upon these dudes, man. These two Jakes right here, whoever following them, man, they're sincerely wrong. You know, they're sincerely wrong, man. These brothers. False brethren right here, man. And through covenants shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time linger if not, and their damnation slumber if not. So it's 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 we in that time. The Lord is not slack, as some men count slackness. When you look up that word slack, it means to be retarded. Guys think the most high is just retarded and that they can just get away with this this damnable heresy speech. This, 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 this I'm, I'm lost for words, Jake. This shit is a red flag. Esau ain't making it. Shalom.